There's a tribute of flags and crosses set up outside the Hopkins Fire Department right now. A special group of men restored them ahead of this Memorial Day. Tonight, Sammy Selena introduces you to the group behind the work known as the Men's Shed. Opening yourself up to new people. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no I'm Dan. It's hard for anyone. But I'm Jim. How you doing? These guys will tell you. Feeling better? It gets harder. Good. With age. Communication, uh, camaraderie, uh, sharing knowledge, uh, just overall mental health. Dan Pierce right. is the chairman for the Hopkins Men Shed. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to create a community. Women congregate, men segregate when they get to retirement. So this is to bring the men together, shoulder to shoulder, yep. <laughs> So pull up a chair and grab a tool. And then we're going to head to Doug's garage to finish up the memorial plaques for the fire department. Because you can find yourself a place in this shed. Well, look at us all together working shoulder to shoulder. There we go. Today, they're restoring crosses for the Hopkins Fire Department. For half a century, crosses. Keep this line together. With the names of late Hopkins firefighters would be displayed in front of the station for Memorial Day. Put the tags back on on this, this plate. Sure. And throughout the years. Wish these were Phillips head. They have weathered. Yeah, my wife wishes I love painting. And while it's a worthy cause, the work. Oh, I love it. It's lots of fun. Fills a hole. There we go. I've seen examples where men who retire, they retire and within a year they're, they're gone because they have no purpose. And nobody to share their life with. It doesn't matter the career. I'm an engineer. I ran a sales department for 40 years. I, I was a physician. Retirement can be lonely. Up a little higher. Jim, come and step in for me. <laughs> Men's Shed started in Australia, and now there are nearly a dozen in Minnesota. Go Men's Shed. Go Men's Shed. I mean, it's a great group. <laughs> they meet up every week. A lot of projects, it's three people working and four people su supervising. And despite the number of supervisors. There's a few more. 24. I got it. Projects seem to fly by. Many hands make light work, huh? There's about 60, 60 of them finished with the plates and more coming. There's nine more. It's almost easy to forget why they're doing it. How you doing, guys? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. you oh, they look, they look awesome. The crosses are back home. Yes. Yeah. Chief Dale Speckin. A lot of the crosses were starting to fall apart. Says it's a job well done. The latest one that we just put on there was uh, our line of duty death that we had last fall. So one of our assistant chiefs, his cross was added this year. James Scanlon died from a heart attack after responding to a fire. His name sits beside Chief Speckin's father's. Some of those been on there for a long time. Most of them are veterans. Cross to cross, this project is finished. Yeah, that's the thing we enjoy doing. It's their community helping the community. Oh, I think they did an outstanding job. And they're doing it shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, right. That's actually what the men's shed is really all about. Sammy Solina. Glad to do it. Yeah. It was a fun project. Was it? Yeah. Good. Carol Levin News. Well, the Men's Shed meets every Thursday at the Hopkins Activity Center. We're told their next big project is building little free libraries.